This week, we are learning CSS3, and I know a lot of you have been looking forward to this. Uh, there are pages in your book that you are going to want to read, and then you're going to want to go through the uh, lecture demo. And I did put a lot of examples in here, so um, hopefully this will give you an idea of all the super cool things you can do with CSS3. Um, so if this is something that we've covered before, because we just couldn't wait, um, I did put review next to it. Um, otherwise, everything you see is new. And so you can see uh, border radius is actually a cool command that I couldn't wait to show you. So I did show you a little, uh, this a little uh, in advance. Uh, but you can see that we've got all sorts of additional uh, values and properties for backgrounds, colors. So I've showed you um, color names, RGB and hex, but there are a couple additional ways of specifying color. So you will be learning those this week in addition to how to create gradients. Okay, and so as you go through here, um, I'm kind of showing you the code that I'm using to create these. I've got interactive examples for you guys to try out. And uh, I've also got little interactive examples or goodies built into the notes so you can kind of see how it works. Now, I don't think you guys are going to have any problems with this. Um, it is just super cool stuff. Um, if you are familiar with Photoshop filters, you'll see that there is a filter CSS you can use uh, that is super cool. And so in I, what I try to do is give you guys some sliders here, and then I'm showing you what filter is applied. You know, so you can kind of play around with this. Okay, and see how it works. Uh, then we get into 2D and 3D transformations. And here again, I've got some sliders. Okay, that's kind of showing you <laughs> we're changing the x-axis, which is why it's moving around uh, horizontally. But if we change the y-axis, you'll notice it moves vertically. And if you really mess something up, you just reload the page and it will all be fine. Okay, so all sorts of examples. This is super fun stuff. Um, make sure you look at uh, the examples that I've got for links and things, because I do think that they, it's going to help you understand all of this better. Okay, so uh, I love what we're covering this week. Um, in the past, students have loved this too, because it's lots of fun. And uh, your textbook assignment, obviously I can't cover all of the CSS3, so I'm just kind of giving you a taste of what it can do. And so you're going to download uh, the files that I've provided. And in addition, your song snippet file from lesson six, you're gonna copy that into the lesson nine folder because we're gonna be animating that. And then uh, you'll start by working with the famous quote file. We're gonna do tool tips in there. We're going to apply animation to that. Uh, we'll use some other CSS. Uh, you can see we're using the gradient. So you'll get kind of a, a mix of commands in here. So you can get an idea of what it does. Uh, this is where we add animation to the famous quote page. And so there's a lot that we're doing to that page. And if you aren't sure if you've created it right, I have a link to all of the code. So you can compare what you have to what's in here, just to make sure that you've got it correct. Uh, then we're gonna do, do a 3D cube. And here is the code for that. 
but for some people, this is hard to read in here. So I do have that in the PDF as well. Do not copy from the PDF, okay? Uh, because it will copy hidden characters and really screw up your page. These are things you have to type. Uh, but your cube should look like this when it's done. And if it doesn't look like this, uh, there is something wrong. <laughs> um, you're gonna do an animated ball. And this ball is created using a gradient. Okay, so this is all of the code to create a ball that bounces up and down. And then you are gonna animate your song snippet page. Okay, and so this is a summary of what you have to turn in. And then for your lab assignment, you're gonna animate a couple of your existing pages. So you're gonna take your Flexbox model page from lesson six, copy it and paste it into lesson uh, nine. And the form you developed last week, you're gonna copy and paste that into lesson nine. And then you're going to apply animation to both. And so I've got a video kind of showing what I did in mine. And then I've got some directions here. And, you know, you don't have to do it exactly the same as I did. So if you want to do something a little different, perfectly okay. Um, here is the form animated. So you can see if I reload this, you can kind of see how everything moves into place. And I'm pretty sure I've got a link to this. And for this, it just kind of rocks when I hover. And if you guys want to do a little different animation, that's okay. Uh, then you're going to do a new page that allows the boxes to be resizable. So right now, nothing can be resized. So you're going to allow this outer and inner box to be resizable. And then for the background graphic, you are going to set the first one, the, the image to contain the image size. And the second one, you will set it to cover. And then if you resize the box, you'll see the difference between what cover does and what contain does. Finally, you are going to add an anim animation to your assignment page and you can animate whatever you want. Okay, totally up to you what you animate. Then you will add all the links in and uh, the links to your assignment page and upload everything to the web. Okay, so that is what we're working on this week. I think you guys are gonna have a lot of fun. Let me know if you run into problems or if you have questions.